Good morning, Vault Dwellers. My name's James, and you're watching The Dark Knight of Thrones. As many of you may already know, the Fallout 4 Script Extender, or F4SE for short, is fully updated and operational. However, some of you may be new to Fallout, new to modding, or perhaps it's just been a long time since you updated Script Extender that you've forgotten how to do it. No worries, as I will show you the simplest way that if you're gaming on a PC at all, you'll be able to follow along without any problems. As a former IT guy, I hate IT videos as much as you do, so I'm going to explain this process step by step so that even our nanas could understand. Now, don't let this word scare you, but with this specific mod, as it's the basis for allowing other mods to work, we are going to have to install this manually. I told you not to be scared. It's actually very easy. Besides, you don't want your script extender being managed by Vortex or any similar mod manager. For the sake of time, I'll allow my fellow nerds to explain why in the comments. Normally, the first thing you would do is go to f4se.silverlock.org, but unfortunately, the website itself has not been updated. Fear not, as the latest version is available over at the Nexus. If you've already gone to the website, you can click on the link that takes you to the thread for the mods page, or you can access it through the Nexus by going to nexusmods.com and you can search for F4SE. Once you click this link, it will take you to the mods page. Once there, however you got there, click on Files. Scroll down to the latest version of F4SE, which is the one directly at the top. Do not click Mod Manager Download. Click Manual Download. This will take you to the next page, which will ask if you want a fast or slow download. Paying members get the fast download, while most get the free download. Even with the quote-unquote slow download, this download should only take a few seconds. The file should now be in your download folder, which you can access by bringing up your file window or clicking the folder next to the file from your browser's download icon. For the sake of visuals for this video, I have moved this folder to my desktop. From here, you are going to right-click on the file and open with your zip extractor. If you don't have a zip extractor, I personally use 7-Zip as it's free and does what any paid zip extractor will do for you. The best place to extract the files is to your desktop. A new folder should now appear on your desktop or wherever you have chosen to extract. Ignore the folders. Those are for developers. If those folders apply to you, you are watching this video for entertainment purposes only, and I thank you. Select all of the loose files for ease, or use the control button on your keyboard to specifically select these two files, f4se underscore loader dot exe and f4se underscore one underscore one zero underscore nine eight four dot dll. Either way, right click and select copy. You're halfway there, Vault Dweller, and I am proud of you. Now, you are going to find your Fallout 4 folder. I keep my games on a separate drive, but the most common path to follow is... C. Program Files x86. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Fallout 4. You are now in the right folder. Right-click and select Paste. Your Fallout 4 script extender is now installed, but I do suggest one more step. See, I told you this was easy. To make things easy for you, you should create a shortcut on your desktop. Right-click on F4SE underscore loader dot EXE and select Create Shortcut. If it doesn't give you the option to create on desktop, Simply right-click the new shortcut, select Cut, and paste it on the desktop itself. If you'd even like to go one step further and have a better icon for F4SE, right-click the shortcut, go to Properties, and you should already be under the Shortcut tab where you will click on Change Icon. If you get this warning, no worries. You can search anywhere on your computer for an icon, but if you go to your Fallout 4 folder, 
double clicking Fallout4.exe will give you the same icon. And now your F4SE is the smiling face of Vault Boy. You're now free to delete the files off of your desktop and from your download folder, minus the new shortcut you created, of course. Now, to play Fallout 4, double click the shortcut. Guys and gals, my name's James, and you've been watching The Dark Knight of Thrones. If this video helped you in any way, please don't forget to give it a like, let us know what you think in the comments, and to stay on top of Fallout, other gaming, and entertainment content, do be sure to hit that subscribe button. To all my vault dwellers, dragonborn, and Jedi Knights alike, we shall see you next time.